Adam, I think this is uh, this is an opportunity for Central Michigan fans to get an up close look at a, at a Power Five team. Not the first time CMU has hosted some big programs, and you know they're going to try and spring the upset here today. All right, it's Parks and Harris or Smith rather, and Jahari Smith wins the tip. So here's the true freshman, Bridget Utberg, who had the 21 points. They try to go inside, but a double team. And the Spartans get the first turnover of the game. That's something that Heather Osterley mentioned to us. Her team, so many unforced turnovers to start the season. Yeah, really tough entry trying to go over the top of two Michigan State defenders there. But CMU stout defensively inside early. McDaniel misses the first shot attempt for Michigan State. Chippewa's playing back at home after a couple of road games against Oakland and Indiana State. They open with a close loss against Valparaiso. Three returning starters for the Chippewas this year. Utberg inside, and she's unable to get it uh, over to her teammate, but it stays with Central Michigan. That feed needs to be a lot faster on that action, kind of rolling to the rim. That's got to be a, a, a quick pass right into the interior because Michigan State's going to collapse defensively really well. Shot clock running down. Harris beats the timer and scores the first bucket. Two freshmen have had a lot of success for Heather Osterley's squad. Sydney Harris and Bridget Upberg scoring in double figures. Harris the leader at nearly 15 a game. At that zone look at him here from Central Michigan defensively, trying to be compact. Inside it goes, and that drops in for two from Tyer Parks. That goes across the lane, and Elliott threw it away. Harris right between two defender scores as a Mid-American Conference team, but they've actually got really good size this year under Coach Osterley. See how they match up against Michigan State. Three ball from the corner, and that's down for Gabby Elliott, the junior from Detroit. Obviously, you want to play your tempo in this game. You don't want Michigan State to be able to get out and start putting up big points. Upberg, quick trigger, knocks it down. Out of Georgia, right? The freshman. Big minutes for Heather Osterley. Yeah. Upberg celebrated a birthday yesterday. The true freshman, Woodstock High School, easy two for Parks. Knocks down both free throws. Baseline cut from McDaniel, high off the window for two. McDaniel lines up the three, short. And the rebound to Sydney Harris. Chippewa's looking to run in transition. Anderson. Nice pass down low. And that's filled up from the baseline. Tassone almost traveled at the top of the key, but able to keep that pivot foot. Good passing. Nice Euro step and a quick move by the freshman. No chance for the Chippewa's to set up defensively. You love that look from Halleck being aggressive. She was an excellent player at Forest Hill Central over on the west side of the state. Harris is open. Knocks down the three. And great to see her out there. First 6'5 player in program history. That's that height we're talking about. Nearly knocked away by Anderson. Extra pass. Well done to the corner. And the three's down for Moira Joyner. Kind of a hallmark of a, of a really unselfish team, right? Doesn't matter who gets it, just as long as the buckets go down. And sharing the basketball, really good passing team for the Spartans. And you wonder why they're scoring 92 points a game. Great passing certainly helps. Nice drive. Mm. There is one of those great passes. Easy lay-in for Alex. The line change format, because at some point, once you get into Big Ten play, you're going to want to settle into a rotation, kind of have some defined roles going into some of those big-time matchups in the Big Ten. But right now, you can get a look at the entire roster. 17-15 Michigan State, final couple of minutes of this opening quarter. Tough pass, and it's dropped in. I mean, that's insane. You don't have that very often. That's a healthy victory. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Resounding, as they say. All right, Chip wants to sit back in that zone defense. Oh, yeah. That's just too easy. Nice lay in and find. To wide open three. A little bit too long. Good attempt there from Walker. Up ahead, Elliott, one on one. Right around Walker for an easy two. Third in the nation in assists, guys. 
All right, thanks so much, Ben. Yeah, they like to pass it around. Here's an open look to the corner for Joyner. Knocks it down right on cue here through the first quarter. And Joyner the latest to add to her total. Uh, just an easy giveaway, and Harris allows Elliott to get by. Despite Michigan State going in front and staying in front for a little bit now, rebounding's been huge for Central Michigan. A lot of one and done for MSU. Tough drive and make. Jean. Good CMU back to within four. Eight minutes to play in this first half. A triple is in. Yeah, we're coming from a really good DePaul program, so maybe playing time a bit of an issue. A nice turnover there for Central Michigan, but still being around that winning culture, trying to bring some of that here to Mount Pleasant. And sometimes you can find that second chance and it works out, especially at a good mid-major program like CMU. Jahari Smith, tough take, her first two. You know, playing high-level high school basketball, you know you got to get it over the timeline. Yeah, and that's a handful of turnovers in the backcourt in this first half for Central Michigan. McDaniel bounces down low, good cut, and that rolls in for two. Kind of forgotten about over there by the CMU defense. Got to go. Elliott's played well with nine points. Chippewa's trying to get it across. They do. Tough catch by the freshman. Laid off for Jean, who scores. Alexander one-on-one -on -one against Smith. A lot of contacts, but good defense, say the officials. And here comes CMU. Chance to tie or take the lead. Smith skips to Utberg. Up for three. Got it. Central Michigan lead. 32 points this season. They have not felt the pressure of a road environment, like you said, or really a stiff opponent. Nearly get a turnover. Anderson finds Smith, and the Chippewas try and settle it down. 15 on the timer. The freshman Anderson floater and that stays down for Anderson got to try and share the rock there in transition and all of a sudden Matt for this Michigan State team they haven't scored in over three minutes it's a 12-2 Central Michigan run over the last five minutes McDaniel trying to break the drought drops it off to Alexander high <laughs> off the window in front of Joe. the officials are letting these two teams play yeah, it's been fun to watch that ball was knocked away. That's why there's no travel there. Joiner from the top. Got it. Michigan yeah. State back in front. Yeah. Good recovery defense by Michigan State. And Fisher comes up with it. Chippewas just looked out of sorts there. Joiner tries again. Hits it again. Six straight. 14 to 2017. All right, here we go in the second half. Anderson spins and misses. Here comes CM, or, uh, Michigan State, and Central Michigan hasn't scored in the last five minutes going back to the second quarter. That's another triple. This is the first points. Off the bounce, Hageman. And the loose ball cleaned up inside. Parks went right over the top. And you're not doing Utberg any favors here by giving her the ball in the corner right there, making life really difficult. She goes behind the back, just lost it, and just a mess. One of the best teams in our state got to play another 20 got to kind of bring it for the final 20 minutes and make sure that you, you show it just wasn't a you know kind of a flash pan performance and the Chippewas right now they've got to find a way one to break the press without turning it over and then two get some points over seven and a half minutes finally a bucket Rochelle no while trying to throw it behind you and avoid going out of bounds three ball and that's down how about the first point in the half court as well as that full court pressure that's given CMU issues? Utberg, a little bit out of control, got it up there almost like a pass. And Heather Osterley's team has put up a great fight, but it's going to take a lot to beat this Michigan State team trying to get that first win of the season. To the corner, Joyner again, yes. To, with a team like this, you know, young, a lot of inexperience, getting big minutes on the floor. It comes with time. You know, no one's saying that. The expectations aren't being met. It's just you got to value the basketball. And the game's a lot faster here in college. And, you know, Utberg's seven threes against Indiana State. Looks like a couple really nice young pieces for Heather Osterley's group. Nice turnaround. Here's one of those new. Here's Utberg. Deep three, but she's open. And the rebound to Michigan State's joiner. Excellent box out by Michigan State. No chance for an offensive rebound.
Just over three minutes left to go in quarter number three. Shot clock is low. Joyner's had the hot hand from deep. She drives this time and runs it in. She can stay coaching staff. You know, realized they were in for a battle and uh, got into their group a little bit. And you've seen a brand new team here in the second half. Turnover number 19 leads to an... And another turnover. Turnover. Osmond in on Utberg, scores two more. But just too many careless turnovers. Great save by Eck, leads to an open three. Hageman misses, but an offensive rebound. Eck tries and pays it off. Eck's just kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time. No one home right there, but John misses, gets her own miss, and scores. Driving in, drawing the foul, and then following it up with her own offensive rebound. Alexander, nice pass. And running along the baseline is Gabby out. In the next two quarters after that, now there's another turnover, their 23rd. Mm. Elliott, great speed, trying to beat Tesson off the bounce, and she does. Tesson straight away, pops out. Well, those are ones that you'd like to see go down for Central Michigan. They've battled here today, and when they get some open looks, you know, they just, sometimes those shots haven't been able to fall. The turnovers have obviously been a killer, but, um, you know, you're getting open looks, and Tesson did a great job of accepting that pass at the top of the key and getting an open look. Elliott around the baseline, reverse, stays down. A lot of potential in this group, and you can you can only hope for, for good things for this group as the, the season continues to wear on. Another miss from Timpy. If you could bottle up that first quarter for Central Michigan, that's what they're trying to look like as this season continues. Take away the turnovers even in that first quarter, but the shots were falling. They played fearless. Nice slip from Alexander, an easy two. And knocks them both down. It's interesting for Susie Merchant and her group get a nice bucket there for CMU, Adam. Three ball up, and no good from Abby Kimball, but the put back from Alexander again. What will be curious to watch is, you know, what's the best five on the floor for Michigan State? They've got a lot of different really good players, and, you know, Mo Joyner, one of their top scorers today, not in the starting lineup. So, you know, you just wonder, when it comes down to crunch time, in, in those games in the Big Ten slate. Who's the who's going to be the five that Susie Merchant can turn to? Inside, nice turnaround. Mm. Norris left it short, though. Again, we, we've talked about it this entire second half. The actions are good. You know, the sets tend to work for Central Michigan more times than not. The shots just have not been there, and sometimes you're going to have games like that. On the other side for Susie Merchant's squad, first time on the road. They have looked excellent. Next two opponents in the Cancun Challenge. Nice no look and the cut to the bucket for Ruers. A lot of times that means you're not at home. Yeah, that's the time that the students, they're not in class, so that's technically their break. And they're off uh, getting an opportunity to play games, but usually away from home. Harris for three, hits it. There's your first put their game on display here on this floor in years past and Harris another three ball there but you know players like Molly Davis who now play final 30 seconds that three comes off from Kimball inside Norris turns and throws it off the glass you've seen it in flashes but I'm telling you Norris is a nice piece inside in that front court for Central Michigan. Keep an eye on her minutes as the non-con goes on. Michigan State just gonna dribble this one out. Great to see Susie Merchant come back for the first time as the head coach. The Central Michigan alum leads her program to an impressive.